Hello, YouTubers. Um, I am starting the video on how to file a uh, federal civil form, uh, and you know how to navigate to get to where you have to download the PDF. Because one thing I really, um, you know, am a bit of a uh, you call it a conspiracy theorist on is uh, I feel like the system, not particularly federal civil court. But the system in general tries not to inform us of certain things, um, like, for example, e-courts, uh, you know, uh, filing uh, paperwork digitally and things of these manner because it gives us too many keys and too many pieces of the puzzle to, uh, to uh, pursue. So... Um, so this is how you do it. Uh, go into Google search, federal civil court forms. I already opened it up. Uh, here, just see if. Now, besides just a, a complaint form, depending on your financial situation, um, there's a... Uh, to proceed in, they call it a uh, uh, form of papyrus. Now, uh, the form of papyrus is where you can proceed with no fees. This means that there's no filing fee. This means that the uh, if you have paperwork that needs to be served to the defendants, the U.S. Marshals, you fill it out. Uh, the U.S. M. Two eight five forms. That's the actual names of it uh, you know you could have your forms uh, subpoenaed to the defendants to uh, well not subpoenaed but uh, you know served to the defendants of their charges that their civil complaint that's getting filed against them can uh, you know you know the US Marshal serves them instead of you paying a processing server uh, you know uh, Motions, motions, uh, you know, as far as I know, um, you know, uh, in, I know it's state and county, you have to, uh, you know, you have to pay for, like per motion or something like that, but I'm not sure exactly how this goes, but generally speaking, formal papyrus is just, you, everything's free of charge. Very nice jewel to have and to know. So, depending on your uh, your current current custody status, uh, freedom status, um, you are going to use the complaint for a civil case form. Now, going there, go there and see pro pro se, because that's what you're. Uh, pursuing this as pro se because a lot of attorneys don't like to touch a lot of things. There's some attorneys that don't want to include some things when there's really you know the most about the situation. You know, there's some things that just won't come out in words sometimes because there's so much going on. Maybe the situation was so scarring where it's hard to get out these things. Uh, you know, and a lot of the time attorneys, one thing I got to say, uh, attorneys don't, it seems like that they just they don't care about you. They care about the money. So, so things are misinterpreted. They don't want to deal with a few things. They want to do a few things. You know, some people are uh, obsessive and compulsive enough where where they where they can pick apart any little thing and they want to include it all, like me. <laughs> um, but you're gonna to want to download the uh, PDF. This is the easiest way for all this. Um, you know, uh, download the PDF. And then once you download the PDF, of course, it's going to go to your download files. And then from your download files, I put them in other places, but um, do it a hard drive space. Um, you know, it will come up there in your download files and so on and so forth, but not there just yet. Let's go back to the... Here you go. Okay, now... Um, the uh, form of papyrus. Uh, it is here. You go. 
See? There's a long and short. Um, I believe the short form is for incarcerated individuals. Uh, so you're going to want the AO239 form, the application to proceed in district court without paying fees or cost. Fee waiver application forms. So click on that. Internet is slow today. Um, all right, and you're going to want to download the PDF, which that's the only one that they give. So, all right, now you got your two files downloaded. Um, you know, you're going to want to click wherever the heck they are, and then you're going to first, I would say, you know, go over your case. Um, you know, because because you, because this is the first part of the process. Uh, when you originally fill this out before it's sealed, um, you know, uh, because when you're, when you're doing the PDF, once you sign it, it locks everything. So it's going to have the district, you know, for the district of New Jersey. There's going to be a little line or whatever, or it might be blank. You click, text, edit, boom. And you'd put civil division. Your name, the case number, don't worry about it. Now, there's two ways you can go about it. The other way isn't too, uh, you know, popular. Um, but depending on circumstances, depending on situation, depending on certain things, uh, there's, there's a trial by jury and trial by judge. A lot of people think that judges would just automatically take certain sides personally uh, my personal opinion depending on the judge if you've seen a certain judge in action if you you know know a background of a certain person I do a lot of research on a lot of things so um, but of course jury by uh, you know trial by jury is always uh, the best you know um, so you're gonna want to click that one uh, of course you know you could name your case anything you want you know a little funny one that uh that I came across one time was, of course, you know, out of my uh, my area, was there was a, a uh, civil suit filed against uh, Ocean County Prosecutor's Office. And it was, uh, somebody named it uh, so-and-so versus Prosecutor County. And it was it just, you know, it was pretty funny because because they're very, they're very dirty. They're very, uh, very corrupt. So... You know, you name who, you know, this ca your case, whatever you want it to be. The case number is going to be filled out by the clerk. Um, you know, obviously, your, your name for the plaintiff and then your defendants. You can use multiple um, pages for this. Um, you could use multiple pages for this. So, uh, so, you know, let's say if you got more than four defendants, I believe, there is certain uh, PDF programs, uh, which I'm going to mention a little bit, which one that I wish I knew in the first place uh, a while ago, but this is, this is, you know, as you're going down your defendants, you know, you have up to four defendants. And of course, you know, uh, for the most part, you're going to do a 1983 claim, uh, you know, because there's a, if you read here, there is a, when you go against federal officials, it's Biven. If you're going against state and local, it's 1983. Uh, of course, you know, excessive force, failure to supervise, failure to train, fa failure to discipline, false statements. Um... Because there's because because you know one thing one thing that they do a lot of times try to cover their asses, they they'll make a fake statement though. So that's that lying on governmental record is a major that's 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 a major crime within itself. So this is a nice little you know 
a nice little, you know, extra jab you can get off on these uh, people. Because you know what? There's some people who uh, want to take it all the way. There's some people who want to settle. You know, there's, you know, uh, after after my two cases, um, I, I want jail time. I don't want, I don't want to be, you know, I just don't want these people to get a slap on the wrist where it comes out of the insurance fund and all this. Nah, nah. Once I get financially able, I'm I'm coming for blood. That's it. <laughs> jail time. <laughs> so, um, you know, proceeding. You know, if it's Bivens, you know, sign here, statement of claim. Um, these are the areas where it did, you know, uh, what is your uh, approximate time and dates where this happened and your raise of claim. Uh, of course, you know, uh, there's, you can continue to, to, uh, you can continue to you can continue to uh you know uh these what happened on a separate PDF remind you everything must be done on PDF not word word not you know uh a uh, 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 rich text document not none of that so you know it has to be PDF if you don't know exactly how to navigate through PDF right away, you can do, use converters. Um, so here you go, you know, statement of claim, so on and so forth. Um, you know the injuries. Um, You know, you want to type in your injuries, the the relief you're seeking. Um, you know the the amount of money. Uh, one thing, one thing that uh, you know that 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 you know you need to come. You know, you need to say the individuals. You know, like not not specific individual, but like for example, I have two separate claims on one, uh, particularly the hospital and the. And the uh, and the police, so that's why I had to put two separate, you know, amounts for two separate places. Uh, you know, the clarification and closing. And like I said, once you sign, it's signed. That's it. You know, uh, that's what locks a PDF. Okay, now. And here's the informal purpose. Uh, well, I like to call it uh, <laughs> uh, form a form a purpose because <laughs> you're trying to form a purpose here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, you know, uh, you know, type in now to uh, so it isn't so elongated. Uh, you know, when you're when you're uh, when you type in the defendant name, you say the first one, and then et dot al. That's some Latin words for basically uh, 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 entails all defendants, you know, including all defendants. Uh, here is the. So you know you're gonna fill it out. Your employment, you in the past twelve months. Income next month, you know, be, you know, my personal opinion, be, be very honest about it. You know, let's say if you did have a job and this situation mentally scarred you where you can't work, you know, that's, you know, and I, I, I attempted and it's very difficult for me to work, you know, out in society, uh, where, uh, you know, where it, it just can't be a public place, you know, uh, I can, I can do, you know, Construction stuff like that. It's just too much for public place. It's just too much for me. Uh, so monthly income, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, public assistance. If you get public assistance, disability, unemployment, so on and so forth. Fill that out. Uh, you know, spousal. You know, if you're married or not. You know, you gotta list them too. Um, 
how much money you owe. You know, if you have any assets. You know, uh, so on and so forth. You know, that your your uh, dependents, children. Uh, you know, how much you owe in electricity, dry cleaning, laundry. They, they, they really, you know, ask you, you know, a lot of, uh, you know... <laughs> They ask you a lot, and they really do. Uh, yeah, and then once you're done with that, you're good. Um, you know, one thing I, I uh, you know, I want to go over that really. Uh, oh yeah, another thing before I go into that. Um, because you're going to be pursuing in, you know, with pro se status, I would like to suggest, um, getting a PDF, uh, creator, you know, because, yo, know, PDF for real, like, like, like Acrobat is very expensive, you know, it, it, you know, it is, especially if you really don't have much of an income, it, it, it things get expensive, you know. So um, I want to show you some alternatives that uh, you know where you know you could you know where you don't ha where you don't need uh, Adobe to make PDFs, and it's absolutely free. So if you go to alternative net and you type in you know, and you could use this for any program really, uh, uh, PDF creator. Scroll down. Now, uh, one thing you want is open source or uh, freemium, where uh, where you pay, you, you know, you have a one-time payment. That's a good. Uh, that's a good uh, alternative. Uh, you know, if if you do want a little bit more of a uh, user-friendly platform, more sleek look, so on and so forth. But what I prefer, after using it very little, um, is PDF twenty-four. Creator and honestly, it's it's pretty nice. You know, uh, it's it, it isn't as sleek looking, but you know, once you get the hang of it, uh, that that other because um, when you go into it, hold on, PDF twenty four. Is that no? All right, no, that's the other file. Boom. Okay, now you can click on it and so on and so forth. Hold on, wait, let me see. Once you click on it, it brings you to the home screen of Come in, come in, come in, come in. No? What, do I have it open already? No. There we go. Alright. Oh no 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 no! Not that one! Not that one! Not that one! Yeah, 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 yeah. No, because I already have you installed. Okay. Now, once you scroll down here, once you get into the file, it has the creator. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me just open it up on this first. Because I use a uh, secondary drive, so. I might have to click on this one. I'm not 100 sure, but oh well, let's try it. Nope, not that one. Alright. It's a toolbox. Yes, toolbox. All right. Um. This is what you would use for, uh, you know, once you go through everything and if you want to add watermarks, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, you know, this is a very good, you know, get a hang of it. You know, you know, with the, you, know you need to be patient, dude. Like, you know, you could really, it's, I'm telling you right now, this one, once you get the hang of it, is, it's good stuff. Uh... 
you know, and then what I was talking about with the signature, locking and unlocking, you know, like there's, once you make that signature, it makes, that's the reason why that, that, that PDF is so, uh, so, uh, you know, that's the reason why that they use these is because you can, you know, lock them and whatnot, uh, you know, so, you know, make things official. So, um, that's all I have for this video, I think. Um, I want to do a separate video for, uh, you know, the excessive force, you know, what would be considered excessive force, um, so on and so forth, bring up a few examples, bring up a few articles, and, uh, you know, go from there, so, uh, I think that's all I have for now, so, till the next video, YouTubers.